All right, everybody. I know there's a bunch of videos on the toolbox widget, toolbox widget stuff. I actually did a video a couple years ago when I first bought their products. Um, I got the uh, not in this drawer. I got the toolbox widgets uh, wrench organizers. They worked really well for all this stuff here. Very compact. Um, the reason the Milwaukee's aren't on there is because I actually I had set them up, put the Milwaukee wrenches on there, and it didn't save any space except for this little half inch right here. And, it, and these trays you can just pick up and take out. So it's nice to just be able to bring the wrenches to where you're working sometimes. Um, but space saving wise, it does save a ton of space to be able to put your wrenches in here like this. Um, but it doesn't save anything specifically for the Milwaukee organizer. Again, we're opening the wrong drawer. All the pliers saves a ton of space in the plier drawer. I'm not even kidding, like this is great. Um, so I've had these for a couple years. I'm not really sure what happened here. Um, that's kind of messed up. So anyway, you know, I got all my picks and stuff there in the toolbox widgets. Um, the stuff is kind of expensive, so I haven't bought any in a while. Um, so all this is getting widgetized. All these sockets. <coughs> um, and then I've got two widget ties like this here, that tray. And then down here, I'm going to put all my snap ring pliers. It's going to get all widget ties. I just made that word up, widget ties. Um, so we'll go do that unboxing on the widget stuff here in, in a minute. Uh, let's see. I don't have any widgets. Oh, yeah. No, I do have widgets down here. So even for the really long, big wrenches that go from inch to inch and a quarter, they even fit in the toolbox. They do sell oversized ones for bigger wrenches. Um, so I'm going to put all those sockets that are over here, here with the widgets. I'll show you what I ordered. Because <clears throat> um, this is the only drawer in this U.S. General that allows the sockets to stand up. I wish there was another drawer that was wide like that one, but there's not. So let's go ahead and just take... A quick look at toolbox widget here. I just cut the box open. Um, looks like it's packed pretty nicely. So these are the stem kits. I ordered a bunch of stem kits because I'm going to have uh, multiple sizes of stuff. These are all colorable. So you can make the, the lettering, the numbering darker. So I got all this. I got a bulk order uh, code for 15% off and then they were having a 30% off sale on the socket organizers so I ordered a bunch of the half inch and three eighths um, going to re be redoing a large portion of that drawer with the sockets in it um, it did take quite a while to get this stuff it was like two weeks they did said, say they were going to include a free gift I'm not sure what they put in here um, looks like they might have thrown in an extra set of, uh, they might have thrown in the plier organizers. I don't remember what I ordered. I ordered half inch socket organizer, screwdriver organizer, um, vertical wrench organizer one, and then a bunch of the socket stuff. So it looks like we got two wrench organizers so they threw in an extra wrench organizer because it took so long for it to ship um looks like they threw in some free scrubber hand soap as well oh that's busted open and then these are all the half inch and three eighths see if we can't bust one of these open i'm gonna go ahead and set this up with a clamp right here and we'll go ahead and pop these open and take a whoop, take a quick look at them see if i can't get this set up right here so i'm gonna move that back <clears throat> now there are a bunch of videos and stuff on the toolbox widget it is a veteran owned and a mechanic owned business so these are really nice but, um, these orange things it's just an indicator and obviously it's a modular you can put as many together as you want um, I don't have any steel right here, but 
they've, they've got these nice magnets on the bottom that hold them in place. You can see it's a fairly strong magnet. Oh, that magnet popped out. I had that happen on on this um, wrench organizers too. The the magnet when you sometimes when you pick these up to move them, the magnet the magnets pop out. Um, let's put that back in there. So I just got I took some super glue on the ones that fell out and I super glued them back in. So that goes in there like that, and then that goes in there like that. Let's try that again. See if it yeah, see it pulled it out. But whatever, no big deal. Um they are they're pretty nice. They're gonna save me a lot of space. Each one of these I think is twenty dollars for for a box here. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three eighths and twelve half inch socket organizers in each box yeah 12 um and like i said you can put as many together is that even on there oh yeah it is as you want <clears throat> i'm gonna be probably replacing the other stem i ordered enough to redo everything in that all the sockets in that drawer and then add the other ones so so you know you can go endless and then they're pretty close when it comes side side to side um to be able to put them in the drawer like this so it should save a decent amount of space let's go ahead and oh wait what do we got oh no they threw in they threw in some quarter inch drive socket organizers too that's pretty sweet i didn't wasn't expecting that yeah i didn't order any quarter inch so we got two quarter inch sets in here that they gave me they gave me the soap and then they gave me an extra wrench organizer so that's pretty awesome that's a pretty good value um that was unexpected appreciate that it's a good company like i said i bought stuff from them before um so let's go ahead and open up a pack of the half inch so one of the things i was thinking about when i was ordering these oh what do we got what is this oh they're extra spacers because um like you get into the big sockets which is what i want to go ahead and put on here now the big some of the big sockets take up a lot of space so you might have to put a spacer in between this in order to make the sockets fit. So I want to go ahead and go down to the toolbox and see how the biggest sockets fit on here in terms of space. Um, but yeah, it looks like the rest of these is all the stuff that I ordered, the 3 8s. So let's go down to the toolbox here and check out how these fit for the half inch drive ones. Because you get up to inch and a quarter um, sockets and they get pretty big. So actually for the for the test i'm just going to put these up here these actually fit together way easier because you can pick them up you can put them together from the top the wrench organizers get put put together from the bottom so we're going to take half inch drive inch and a quarter here which is a fairly large socket set it on here well that's a nice fit too so you can see we'll need a spacer for the uh, for the bigger once you get up to the bigger ones because you can see that won't fit might even need two spacers for some of the bigger ones So let's just see what size Socket will fit. Let's go with inch and one inch and 15 16 and see if those will fit side to side Yeah, I know so it's gonna take quite a bit of spacers to make those fit So it'll fit your sockets. Okay, so it fits um, Up to 7 8 and 15 16 on the standard side they'll fit right next to each other with no spacer. Anything bigger than that, these last four are gonna need spacers. Not that big of a deal because they give you the spacers because they know that the sockets get big like that. Um, but I think two of these side by side, yeah, look at that. It's gonna save, it's gonna save quite a bit of space compared to this setup that's here. Um, because that's like an extra inch and a quarter that's not going to get wasted because it'll get rid of this gap in the middle at least for the ones up to 15 16 and then we'll have to do the spacers which it'll take up this it, they'll actually probably be closer than this so this is going to be a huge space saver in this in this drawer right here definitely worth it uh, all in with the 15 percent off 
Um, and then they had a 30% off, 30% off for the socket organizers for Christmas. It was, I think, $300. Normally, it would have been quite a bit more than that. Yeah, it was $300 for eight half-inch organizers, and then two um, stem sets of each metric and standard for half-inch, and two stem sets for uh, three stem sets each for the three-eighths metric and standard. And then I got ten three-eighths organizers, for a total of 120 total um, widget, socket widgets. And then I got eight half inch socket organizers. Oh, it looks like they gave me extra socket organizers too. What? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine half inch socket. so they gave me a free half inch sock and organizer kit as well that's pretty nice i mean they they realized that the shipping time was longer so they they threw that in that's pretty nice um and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we got the right amount of three eighths drive but so they gave quite a few quite a bit of the um of the extra stuff but um and then so the toolbox widget pliers the difference between the pliers and the and the wrench ones is it's a lot wider so you can fit the head of the plier in there and it feels like they might have made these fit a little easier together compared to the old ones um, but you can see the difference there See if we can just put this up in front. So you can see how that's bigger than the, the standard one. Because I'm pretty sure these are socket organizers that I have here. Ah, uh, socket organizer, wrench organizers that I used for pliers. So I've got the plier ones now. Um, for some of the wider pliers, like the Weinmans, they don't fit down in there like at all, so they stick up. So that'll be really nice because all of this is compatible. All these go together. You can have your wrenches hooked to your pliers. You can have pliers hooked to, uh, I don't know if these, they don't fit on the socket ones, but you get the point. Um, and then down here, like some of these bigger, like this doesn't have a holder because it's too wide. So this will fit on the end of that and it'll be good for that. So you don't have to use these for what they're labeled for. They're pretty multi-purpose when it comes to toolbox organization, and they're pricey, but they're worth it if you want to have maximum space for, like, sockets and stuff. So, that's just my quick review on the toolbox widget. I thought I would just do another one. I did one way back. Um, it's definitely worth it. So, all in, I, I think this would probably be probably $700 worth of organizers if I didn't do the sale. Um... No, it would be, yeah, probably $800, somewhere around there. But it's it's worth it. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope this helps you. Um, I'm going to try out their soap, see how good that works. Hope this helps you out with your, uh, oh, let's check out the quarter-inch ones. Let's set this back up and just check out the quarter-inch real quick. Just because I've got it, so we may as well look at it. Oh yeah, so they get, so, oh wait, the quarter inch drive came with spacers too, but the three inch drive kits, oh they did, okay, they're just on the back side, so the three inch drive kit comes with spacers as well, to be able to space out if you have a really big ratchet, but you know, it's basically the same thing, and they all fit together, there's quarter inch and three eighths, they fit together, um, that is nice, although I feel like quarter inch drive is quite quite a bit smaller so they probably could have i mean i get they want to keep it universal but they probably could have made the quarter inch drive set a little more compact i guess it is more compact let's see the spacer off of here it is more compact see but they all fit together so you can have quarter inch half inch 
however you want it. It's a modular system, so it's it's pretty nice. It's gonna save a lot of space. I'll do a full toolbox tour after I do the whole setup with all this stuff, just to show show everybody what it looks like and, and how it comes out. All right, again, thanks for watching. The video's getting kind of long, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, this is a toolbox widget. I paid for all this myself, not sponsored or anything like that. And, um, you know, they did send some free stuff, but they didn't know I was going to make a video. Thanks for watching, everybody.